Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about chromosomal disorders. So without any delay, let's start the video. So first of all, what do you mean by the chromosomal disorders? So the chromosomal disorders are, you can say, these are the diseases which are due to the change in chromosome structure or in number. So simply you can say these are the diseases or the genetic disorders which are due to the mutation in the chromosomes and these chromosomal disorders they are also called as the chromosomal abnormalities or chromosomal abbreviations. Now the types of chromosomal disorders. So generally we have two types of chromosomal disorder. First is autosomal disorder and second sex chromosome disorder. So autosomal disorders are those disorders which are due to the mutation in autosomes because as you know we have like in case of humans so humans have total 46 chromosomes out of which 44 are autosome while the remaining two that is x and y these are the sex chromosomes so here whenever the mutation in these 22 pairs of autosomes so that disorder is known as the autosomal disorder while when the mutation is in the sex chromosome either in x or in the y so that disorder is called as the sex chromosomal disorder so simply autosomal disorder are due to the uh, you can say the mutation in the non sex chromosome and sex chromosome disorder are due to the mutation in the sex chromosomes now first let's discuss some autosomal disorders which include down syndrome pateau syndrome edward syndrome Creed-Uchat syndrome, William syndrome, Jacobson and prader willi syndrome. So now let's discuss these syndromes one by one. First, Down syndrome. So this syndrome is due to the presence of extra copy of 21st chromosome. So simply you can say due to the trisomy 21. So if you see the karyotype of Down syndrome patient, so you will see here that this 21st chromosome, it present in triplicate. Usually we have the pair of each chromosome but in case of Down syndrome the 21st chromosome present in triplicate because there are three copies of 21st chromosome. So it means one extra 21st chromosome is there. So due to this extra 21st chromosome certain symptoms are developed in the persons and these are like mental retardation, their upward slant. Uh, to the eyes, small mouth, abnormal ear shape, etc. So these are some symptoms of Down's syndrome and there is no cure of this syndrome. Next syndrome is Pateau syndrome and this is due to the presence of extra copy of 13th chromosome because if you look into the karyotype, so here you can see the 13th chromosome it presents in the triplicate. You can see the extra copy of 13th chromosome. So this is the Pateau syndrome and the symptoms include like facial deformities as you can see in this picture including the cleft lip and the palate and polydactyly means extra finger or extra toes. So these are some symptoms of Pateau syndrome. The next autosomal syndrome is Edwards syndrome and this is due to the presence of extra copy of 18th chromosome so trisomy 18 so if you look into the karyotype so you can see here that 18th chromosome is present in three copies or in the triplicate so due to this extra 18 chromosome so certain symptoms develops which are like severe intellectual disability uh, some unusual facial characteristics some heart defects kidney abnormalities may be there next is cree du chat syndrome this syndrome is due to the deletion of short arm of the fifth chromosome. So here is a karyotype of k to chat syndrome in this one. So here you can see that this fifth chromosome, there is a deletion. This arrow represents a small deletion in the short arm of this fifth chromosome. So due to the deletion of fifth chromosome, certain symptoms develop in the patient. And one of the main symptoms is that the patient cry like a cat. So that's why this syndrome get its name Cree du Chat syndrome and other symptoms include like distinctive facial features, delayed uh, body development, etc. So here in pictures you can also see some patients which are suffer from this Cree du Chat syndrome. Next autosomal disorder is Williams syndrome and this is due to the deletion of 7th chromosome. Like Cree du Chat was due to the deletion of 5th chromosome, this Williams due to the deletion of 7th chromosome. So this is the karyotype and here in the black circle you can clearly 
see this one that there is a deletion in the seventh chromosome so due to which symptoms develop like intellectual disability distinct facial feature cardiovascular problem etc next jacobson syndrome so this is due to the deletion of the long arm of 11th chromosome like here in this circle uh, so in this karyotype you can get this 11th chromosome here if you see here this 11th so due to deletion in the long arm of 11th chromosome jacobson syndrome develops and the symptoms include like platelet disorders abnormality on the left side of heart some kidney problems maybe there are many more so this is about the jacobson syndrome so here as i told there is the defect in the 11th chromosome the deletion of long arm of 11th chromosome now next autosomal disorder is prader willi syndrome and this is due to deletion of 15th chromosome here if this is the karyotype and you can clearly see there is a deletion in the 15th chromosome which is under this red circle and the symptoms include poor muscle development feeding difficulty in the infancy excessive appetite leading to obesity etc now the sex chromosome disorders after the autosomal disorder now these are the sex chromosomal disorder means these are due to the mutation in sex chromosome either kx or in y so they include klinefelter syndrome turner syndrome jacobson syndrome triple x syndrome and fragile x syndrome so first klinefelter syndrome so this is due to the presence of extra x chromosome so generally the male have the complement normal male have a complement that is uh, 44 plus xy but in case of klinefelter syndrome the karyotype will be 44 plus xxy means one x chromosome is extra so due to this extra x chromosome if you look into the uh, karyotype you will clearly see here that instead of xy this uh, patient have xxy so one xy so due to this extra xy certain female like characteristics develop in the male individual like they include there is development of the breast infertility and uh, uh, they are taller than average long uh, you can say they have some my learning difficulties also so this is about the clan felter syndrome next turner syndrome this is due to absence of x chromosome from the female individual so generally female have the um, uh, you can say the normal karyotype is 44 plus x x but here due to this turner syndrome one x is missing so karyotype will be if you can clearly see 44 plus x0 so due to the absence of one x chromosome as you can see in this karyotype you can clearly see that there is only one x chromosome as we know female have two x chromosome but here we have only one x chromosome so due to the absence of this x one x chromosome certain characteristics develop in the females like they have some short stature webbed neck with delayed puberty infertility heart and kidney problems may be there next syndrome is jacobs syndrome and this is in the male and generally male have one extra y chromosome so karyotype will be 44 plus x y y so if you look into the karyotype you can clearly see that here we have two y chromosome because normal person have only one y chromosome but jacobson syndrome uh, person have two y chromosome so due to the presence of extra y chromosome certain symptoms develop like tall stature the delay in the development learning difficulty behavior pattern will be changed so these are certain symptoms of the jacobson syndrome next is triple x syndrome so here as the name indicate triple x so the female have one more x chromosome so the karyotype will be 44 plus triple x so that's why known as the triple x uh, syndrome and due to the one extra x chromosome certain symptoms will develop and before going to symptoms so let's uh, look into the karyotype so here you can clearly see the karyotype of triple x syndrome individual have an extra x chromosome instead of two x chromosome because we know normal female have two x chromosome but here one more x chromosome is there so due to the presence of additional x chromosome certain symptoms develop which are like tall stature learning disabilities delayed speech and language development and and menstrual irregularities so these are the certain symptoms associated with the triple x syndrome now next is a fragile x syndrome this is caused by the mutation in a protein that is fragile x messenger ribonucleoprotein fmr1 whose gene is located on the x chromosome 
सो वेन देर इज अ म्यूटेशन इन द जीन ऑफ दिस फ्रेजाइल एक्स मैसेजर राइमरी को न्यूक्लियर टाइप प्रोटीन सो दैट सिंड्रोम इज नोन एज फ्रेजाइल एक्स सिंड्रोम एंड सिम्टम्स इंक्लूड इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसबिलिटीज पुअर डेवलपमेंट बिहेवियर एंड इमोशनल प्रॉब्लम सम करेक्टरिस्टिक फेशियल फीचर्स एंड यू कैन से ऑटिज्म स्पेक्ट्रम डिसऑर्डर एटसेट्रा so this was all about the chromosomal disorders so that's over today guys see you in the next video thank you very much